I will call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. I will call upon the Lord. The Lord liveth, and blessed be my rock, and let the God of my salvation be exalted. The Lord liveth, and blessed be my rock, and let the God of my salvation be exalted. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. So welcome those who are here um, at this Mass, and also those who are watching uh, this Mass through St. Mary's Ottawa YouTube channel. Brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts, Lord of mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May mighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Beloved, while the promise of entering God's rest is still open, let us take care that none of you should seem to have failed to reach it, for indeed, the good news came to us just as to them, but the message they heard did not benefit them, because they were not united by faith with those who listened. For we who have believed enter the rest, just as God has said. As in my anger I swore, they shall not enter my rest. Though his works were finished at the foundation of the world, for in one place it speaks about the seventh day as follows, and God rested on the seventh day from all his works. And again in this place it says, they shall not enter my rest. Let us therefore make every effort to enter that rest, so that no one may fall through such disobedience as theirs. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response to the song. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Do not forget the works of the Lord. The things that we have heard and known that our ancestors have told us, we will tell to the coming generation the glorious deeds of the Lord and his might. Do not forget the works of the Lord. The next generation shall rise up and tell them to their children so that they should set their hope in God and not forget the works of God but keep his commandments. Do not forget the works of the Lord. 
so that they should be like their ancestors, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation whose heart was not steadfast, whose spirit was not faithful to God. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. A great prophet has appeared among us. God has visited his people. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you. When Jesus returned to Capernaum, after some days, it was reported that he was at home. So many gathered around that there was no longer room for them, not even in front of the door. And he was speaking the word to them. Then some people came bringing to him a man who was paralyzed, carried by four of them. And when they could not bring him to Jesus because of the crowd, they removed the roof above him, and after having dug through it, they let down the mat on which the paralytic lay. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the man who was paralyzed, Son, your sins are forgiven. Now some of the scribes were sitting there, questioning in their hearts, why does this fellow speak in this way? It is blasphemy. Who can forgive sins but God alone? At once, Jesus perceived in his spirit that they were discussing these questions among themselves. And he said to them, Why do you ra raise such questions in your hearts? Which is easier, to say to the one who was paralyzed, Your sins are forgiven? Or to say, Stand up, and take your mat and walk. But so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the man who was paralyzed, I say to you, stand up, take your mat, and go to your home. And the man stood up and immediately took the mat and went out before all of them, so that they were all amazed and glorified God, saying, We have never seen anything like this. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You know, there are instances wherein a young child would have a bad dream, right? Nightmares. And maybe this young child would dream that there's a bad guy would enter the house, break into the house, and steal and, you know, do harm to the people in the house. And then the young child will just wake up crying, crying because of, of great fear uh, of the danger. And that the one thing that the young child would do is that he would go to the room of his, of, of his or her parents and ask if he or she could sleep inside, inside the room. And usually the, the young child will, will uh, uh, sleep between the father and the mother. And, and, and when, when the young child would do that, this young child will feel at peace and then will be able to sleep. And the reason behind that is this because this young child knew very well that his, his, his or her parents love him very much or her. Okay? And he or she also knows that his, par his or her parents is bigger than those bad guys, right? So she, he or she feels safe. And, that's be, and, and because of that, he, was able to, he or she was able to, to sleep. And, and that's what the Lord wants, wants us to experience, really. Uh, to, to really have that rest, to have that peace in Him. 
in our first reading today, it's beautiful. It talks about, it says there, Beloved, while the promise of entering God's rest is still open. The Lord promises that the, all of us could rest in Him. Okay? And, and it says here, For we who have believed enter that rest. For we who have believed. Do we believe? Do we, leave, do we believe in God's unconditional love for us? Do we believe that God's power is there to protect us? Do we believe that God is greater and mightier than the evil one? Do we believe? Right? Because if we truly believe, then we would enter into that rest. If we don't believe, then we don't enter into that rest. The reason is because there will be fear, right? That's why for me, my, my favorite passage is from the first letter of John, chapter 4, verse 18. It says there, uh, there, there is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. For fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not reached perfection in love. When we're having unhealthy fear, okay, it means we haven't reached the perfection of love. And the Lord is inviting us to go deeper, to go deeper, that we would experience more and more of His love in our life. Now, right now, a lot of people are living in fear. And fear is powerful. I don't know if, you, if, you, if you're aware of that. Fear could drive you to do evil things, to protect you. You know, you, the fear would drive you to harm others, to protect you from them harming you. Okay? Fear would also drive you to, from committing crimes. So that's why fe whenever you're experiencing fear, there is no rest. Because you always feel that danger. That's why we need to enter. Lord, this year, I want to know you more. I want to know more of your love. And I want to believe in that love, in your power, so that I will experience that peace, that rest. That's why yeah, the, the, the resting in peace is not just for the dead. It's also for us, the living. Okay? And every day, we maintain that Throughout the day, are we resting in peace in God? We should not let any fear, unhealthy fear, to set in. Okay? So let's examine ourselves every day. Throughout the day, as you wake up, throughout the day, and as you sleep. Before you sleep, you examine, is there any fear? Because there should be no fear. There should be no fear. When we're experiencing the love of God, in our life, where it says, perfect love casts out fear. With all the trust of the paralytic friends, let us bring to the Lord the needs and mysteries of the church and the world. That the Spirit may guide the church in carrying out Christ's mission to preach forgiveness of sins to all who seek God's mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may foster peace in the hearts of men and women by our readiness to forgive and forget past offenses. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may be ready to bring Christ especially to those whose lives were shattered by painful circumstances. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the handicapped may continue to hope and to trust in God, who wishes wholeness for everyone. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our departed brethren may have fullness of life in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intentions of this Mass, for the repose of the soul of Cecilia Toscano, offered by Ben and Maria Lobo. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the forgiveness shown to us by your Son. 
may we in turn show forgiveness to all who have offended us. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I can search for all eternity long and find there is none like you. There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I can search for all eternity long and find there is none like you. Your mercy flows like a river wide and healing comes from your hands. Suffering children are safe in your arms. There is none like you. There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I could search for all eternity long and find there is none like you. Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice into your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and every word to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him, redeem him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation, May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of God hosts, hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes, comes in the name, in the name of, the of the Lord. Hosanna in the, in the highest. highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord and, profess and profess your resurrection, your resurrection until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Marcel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in all of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we are married to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father, who who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy Thy kingdom kingdom come, thy will be done done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, bread, and forgive us us our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive forgive those those who trespass trespass against against us. And lead us not not temptation, temptation, but deliver deliver us from from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but at the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Lamb of God, take you away take the away sins, the sins of, the of the world. Have, have mercy on us. On us. Lamb, Lamb of God. God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not I am worthy not that you should, that enter, you should enter under my roof, but only, but only say, say the, the word, word and my soul, soul shall, be. shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you're already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Make me a channel of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me bring your love. Where there is injury, your pardon, Lord. And where there's doubt, true faith in you. 
Make me a channel of your peace. Where there's despair in life, let me bring hope. Where there is darkness, only light. And where there's sadness, ever joy. Oh, Master, grant that I may never seek so much to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love with all my soul. Make me a channel of your peace. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned, in giving of ourselves that we receive, and in dying that we are born to eternal life. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, Michael the Archangel, defend, defend us in us battle. In battle. Be our, be our protection, protection against, against the wickedness, the wickedness and, snares and snares of the devil. Of the devil. May, May God, God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And the thou, Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, world seeking the ruin of souls. souls. Amen. Amen. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now.